scorecards what are the scorecards a scorecard is a nothing but a, it represents the data quality in the graphical manner i will show you i will show you how to create a scorecards and what is the prerequisitions for a scorecards suppose if we want to create a, any scorecard we must we must do a profiling usually in the real time we don't create we don't create a scorecards on sources source objects usually we create scorecards only on a target objects because because we implemented a mappings to load the data into target systems right after the loading only we will we will measure the data quality because obviously source files will have a raw data so that's why we don't create a scorecards on a scorecards on a source system as as i said in the very first class let me open this open this life cycle of the id cube id cube try IDQ architecture. Yes, if you see this a life cycle of the <coughs> life cycle of the IDQ projects, the the sixth step is monitor data quality versus targets. Because this here the business people's SMEs SME are the business people's will. will see the data quality data quality because they can't come they can't come to database and they can't they can't verify they can't fire the queries and all those things then based upon the query results they can't measure the data quality how they measure the data quality they will measure the data quality based upon the based upon the graphs graphs and dip, uh, uh, at this step of depends on establish metrics and define targets and the sixth stage they will measure the data quality based upon the graphical man if you see this another cycle if you see this monitor dq targets this are dq targets once the data is loaded review exceptions and all those is done this is a scorecards concept because the business people will will measure the score, score uh, quality data based upon this scorecards let me go to okay to the scorecards will be create only on a target tables only okay to create a target tables sorry to create a profile we must do a profile that that particular target object so let me go to training new scorecard scorecard actually it is in the wizard it is expecting a one profile in the for the creating a scorecard so let me i am going to i am going to create a sim simple mapping to load the data into all customer modify first we need to we need to do a profile on which object we are going to load the data yes this is this is my target table i am going to load the data into this table so i am doing a simple profile on this table mm. let me clean up that clean up that table if you have any data
okay start this is the table all customer modify is the table let me check any table any record cell no records okay then i am going to create a simple profile on this object do profile 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 all customer modify okay next i don't want to all the columns just i need a customer id customer tire last name first name and uh, i don't want all this i want a city state zip country currency yeah i selected a few of few of the columns from the all the columns just finish profile is created creating okay next profile is created profile is ran completed successfully profile ran successfully if you go to results actually in the target systems before to loading there there is a no data Okay. profile all customer modify already there is a data where it has came from let me check this is no data how how it came to here how the data came to here strange because how the data came here because there is a empty table all customer modify is a empty table okay let's see because actually when we created a, a profile on an empty table and there should there shouldn't be any data actually which is a bit strange how the data is came to here okay <clears throat> i'm going to i'm going to create a scorecard on this particular profile let's go to training new scorecard scorecard all customer modify i'm going to create a scorecard on this uh, this profile uh, profile all customer modify is a my profile to create a scorecard next these are the selections in the profile these are these these are the objects are selected just finish
score card is opening in id in the id in the score card in the id we can't do other than the creating other than the defining we can't do anything in a score cards what are the things we we can't do because of defining a defining a matrix define a valid values invalid values for a score cards all those things we can't we can't define in a ide ide means either it's a developer tool where we can where we can define because of these are the defined we can actually just we had created a score card only we need to run the score card because we need if we want, if we need to run the score cards where we want to go we need to go to analyst tool other than the creating a score card we can't do anything from ide then so that's why i'm going to analyst tool okay analyst tool analyst tool is open okay score cards is the score cards is opening usually analyst analyst tool will take a will take a time um, to pull out the all the records from this back end and all those things so we need to wait wait until until it pop up it get pop up okay now score cards i want to modify i want to do something uh, uh, i want to do uh, something with the score cards this is the score card i created uh, just now right yes this is a score card i created just now just select the score card Yes. Now check. Uh, let's see. The scorecard is open. Here, scorecard is open. Then, because in the analyst tool, analyst tool only for the scorecards. In the analyst tool, only having these options: edit scorecard and run scorecard. First, let me go to edit scorecard. Define matrix. CT. For this, all these values. First, let me save and run because there there are only one one. First, let me run this scorecard. scorecard all customer all customer run
is let me <coughs> scorecard has ran let me modify this uh, values matrix if you take this city because of these are all all are valid sorry sorry actually okay just i created a scorecard let me uh, let me create a small mapping and load the load the data into that uh, that table i'm reusing i'm i bit i will do a bit modification in the existing mapping all customer standardization let me open this to load the data into target system because actually bit ranging um, in our table actually don't have any data but it is a showing some data from it is a pulling pulling from somewhere okay okay got the wrong got what we had the run because actually instead of we are doing this profile on this object instead of we 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 done the profiling on this object actually this is a flat file already contain the already contain a Uh, some uh, container data so actually we have to do a profile on this object so let me quickly create this uh, this also create a profile actually we supposed to do this profile on this object this is the target this is the target actually we we made something we made something wrong so that's why the data data this all customer modify already contain a data so that's why we are getting a results but uh, actually we supposed to do a profile on this this and we we have to we used to this table to going to load and let me quickly quickly create a profile profile all customer scorecard okay Let me, let me quickly create column selection yes. currency status okay i'm going to do all uh, finish now let's see there is a no data in the table so profile results also there is a no it's not showing anything yes this is a, this is the right we supposed to do this 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 way okay now let's a now let's a create a scorecard for this profile add to scorecard new
all scorecard all okay this is my scorecard just select the columns I think already we select selected on a profile so that's why finish let's wait to finish just profile is created profile is created in IDE now let's go to analyst tool to modify and all those things go to library if you if you click in the analyst tool if you click on open you will get a library in the library it contains all the objects all the objects which we created in a IDE scorecards this is a scorecard we created click on that scorecard before going to do any modification let's run this scorecard we must we must run this scorecard before before we are going to doing any modification run okay there are no records so that's why that's why everything is uh, red now let's let's do a simple mapping a small mapping to load the data into that particular scorecard I will do a small I will do a small modification in the in my existing mapping to load the data into this all customer modify let me take a copy this mapping copy and then let me paste it copy reuse objects okay mapping is copied now let's open this open a copy of okay i am going to modify this mapping to load the data into my target table deleting this all customer modify all customer yes this is a table I want
I don't want to this section. I'm deleting this section. I don't want this answer. For this, for this demonstration only, just for this demonstration, I am doing a simple modification in the mapping. But, but in the real time, actually, whatever the mapping has already loaded the data into target system, we will create a scorecards on that target system. In the real time, we don't do this modification and all those things. Actually, in the real time, already we loaded some data into the target system. So just we, we, we need to create a profile on the target system, target table. Just we have to run this, run only. For this demonstration only, just I, mod, I modified the mapping. Oh, customer ready, okay. Customer tire. F name, L name, state. Just I'm connecting into target and I will load the city. Yeah, no problems found. Here actually I took some other table so that's why it's a new, it's, it is a, there is a mandatory field so let me populate the mandatory fields or else it will reject the records. No problems found. Now let me run this mapping. Earlier there is a no data. Now the data is populated in a in my target system. Now let's rerun these scorecards. Earlier there is a, earlier there is a no no data in a, in target table. So that's why the scorecards is a different. Now let's rerun this. Yeah, just let's edit and go to edit scorecards, go to matrix, define a valid value, define a valid values and invalid values. These are all our valid values. Okay, next is city. Null is invalid, other than the other all. Let me null null into this currency usd is a valid value f name all are well. null null is invalid rest of customer tire Means good aid custom or oh, customer ID state null is invalid, rest of all valids zip null is invalid or country. 
only null is invalid this is the this is the valid valid value section this is the invalid value section business has to def, business has to select which is, what are the valid values and what are the uh, invalid values so that's why business business will do this one this this because uh, we don't know what is the valid values what are the uh, invalid values suppose if a business asks the developers we have to do okay if you see this metric threshold status this is a graph graph will graph will represent with the, these three colors good accept and acceptable suppose if you take a 0 to 84 0 to 84 means unacceptable 85 to 94 acceptable 95 to 100 this is a good score okay now let's uh, save and run rerun now the scorecards will run based upon the uh, valid uh, the, the content the content exists in the target table and uh, valid values invalid values it will ca it calculate the scores based upon the valid values and invalid values if you take o customer id because all are all are valid values so 100 percent valid in customer tire there are uh, some invalid invalid rows now let's check this drop down invalid values run the invalid values oh, let me if you click on this radio buttons you you will get a invalid values Actually, the invalid values will will display here. Drill down customer trial bonds. Here something you have a, some issue, but you will get a drill down results here. If you want to save that the results, these are the options you can save it. okay if you take if you take a OG, this is the score percentage is 83.61 percent this is the scorecards this is this is the scorecards concept misc date why it is a misc date is 0 0.3 but might be might be we are not we are not well defined so that's why it is a Currency. Currency is a hundred percent. Status. Status is a ninety-nine point eight ninety-nine point eight good. Because all green are accept uh, acceptable by business. Good. Green are good records based upon the score definition. If you want to define change the matrix, you can change it. 0 to 84 no, business don't want to not at all acceptable okay save and run now let's uh, now let's check the misc date misc date earlier it was 0 0.2 now let's check the misc date also yes now misc date also 99.8 because these are the symbols score trend score trend means it will show it will uh, this is a, it is a, it is showing up because earlier score was less than this so if the score was um, if the score is a degraded to previous run this symbol will be downside Yes, actually the values are not populating. So usually the values will be populate. Okay. Now let's 
what we can you yes if you trend charts trend chart trend charts will represents the will represents the uh, the score will uh, up and moves let me show you this uh, trend chart trend chart show trend chart yes if you if you take this score card this is for a missed date total rows 2447 earlier the first ran the first ran is a score 0 and the second ran score is 0.2 and the third ran 0.2 and now fourth ran the 99.8 this is a trend chart will represents the how the data was in data was with the last 10 runs <coughs> i think we can change we, we can change the number of runs suppose suppose if we want to suppose if we want to last 20 runs we can run suppose if we want to all runs we can we can get the trend chart for how the how the the missed date score has changed let me close this okay suppose let's take a let's take a country i want to see a country trend chart so trend chart if you see this trend chart for a trend chart for a country the first run score 0 the second run score 12.1 third run score 80 87.9 and fourth run 87.9 this is the way we can see the how the how the score has changed changed from run to run this is about a score cards this is about score cards in the idq suppose if we have an if i am missing anything let's let's do yourself and explore more explore more yourself and let me go to one more thing open score card yeah yeah this is about a score cards in the previous runs we couldn't see any this uh, drill down options because we missed we missed a small thing no what we want what what we had missed is when we when we click on a run score cards this is a profile these these are the columns profile columns these are the columns what we want to get in a drill down suppose if you select all we will get all just usually just a click don't click these are the these are all complete table complete table attributes support whatever the whatever the results you want to see in a, this a drop down you can select it let me let me show you the change just for this drill down for this drill down i am just selecting a city i am running this L name. Only city is get city is get populating in a drill down. Why only it is get still uh, city is getting populate because the selection of this is these are the drill down column selections. So I am selecting all I am selecting all. I don't want these. 
okay let's leave, let's leave it i'm selecting all the columns i want to see all the columns in my drill down option just run this earlier earlier we didn't, we didn't select any columns so that's why the uh, the drill down results are not populated let's go in customer type it is showing it is showing a 167 invalid rows right we can see what are those invalid values and valid rows valid rows get populated someone name invalid rows customer tire because let's say take a customer tire yes the customer tire populated as a null so that's why these are the records are invalid we can get it in a the result in a drill down option drill down results suppose if you want to you can save these results then now let's go to zip why it is it is a not acceptable it is a it's a showing a red now let's go to what are the valids what are the invalids zip now if you take a zip it is populated as a null so that's why the records are invalids okay yes this is the this is a for to show the drill down drill down results in a drill down option okay this is about a scorecards okay now i am jumping to analyst tool just i am not going i am not going in depth to analyst tool i am just uh, high, i will give a high level brief in this analyst tool okay already as we as as we discussed in the earlier sessions we said because in the IDQ we have a two tools. One is the IDE, which is used for impl uh, implement the mappings and all those things used by developer. Another one is a URL based analyst tool. This analyst tool will most probably will use by a business developers or data stewards and business users. Because what we can do with the analyst tool? Let me with the analyst tool just let me log out and let me come to show the initial interface administrator and administrator is a password okay this is a this is the initial interface of this uh, analyst tool what we can do with the analyst tool already we have seen a scorecards scorecard valid value definite valid values uh, definition valid values are defining and invalid values defining uh, uh, do by a business uh, the business peoples and in the design section in the design section we can create a profiles In the design section, we can create a profiles, import the objects and all those things. Let's go to start. Yes, if you if if you go into start discovery assets, discovery assets means suppose if you want to see any profile objects, uh, uh, table objects, plot file objects from IDE which is which is already in the repository you can go to just click on profile if you click on profile we can create we can create a profile from analyst tool yes this wizard is showing how to create a profile and all those things so give a naming to profile and select the source and specify settings and specify rules and filters this is for creating a profile from analyst tool from the analyst tool we can create a profiles we can create we can import a objects we can and what we can more
go to start and plot files we can we can import in we can import to a repository and the mapping specifications we in the reference tables also can create rule specifications so rules also can create from analyst tool but it's a the it's a not we can't create a complex <laughs> complex rules from analyst tools because we can't use this all this uh, transformations through analyst but only if else condition rules can create from a analyst if you go to if you click on a open it will open library library in the sense because all the objects we can we can see irrespective of irrespective of project and irrespective of folders all the objects we can see data objects a data objects means it's may it may either plot file it may relational database anything but it is here it is a classifying table plot file yes if you want to mapping specifications you can see this uh, mapping specifications here profiles if you click on profiles you can see all the profiles which is created in the repository you can we can see in the profiles reference tables we can see all the reference tables which are exist in the repository idq repository suppose if you want to do any open if you want to do anything you can access the that reference tables you can see uh, you can see what is the content over over there and and also you can do a modify also the reference tables you can do all the modify also if you see these are reference tables yes this is these are the reference tables if you want to do edit go to edit you can edit the values these are the options add a row edit a row and delete row so just i'm going to library again rule specification see here if you want to create a create a rule you can create a rule rules rules which are already implemented in a repository these are the rules will get pull pull from repository and will populate scorecards already we have seen the scorecards this is a irrespective of projects and this is a irrespective of folders suppose if we want to category uh, categorize wise projects wise this is a projects wise cap this is a folders wise we can see yes this is this is a folder wise objects okay and also we have already seen how the uh, how the data stewards managers will correct the data which is populated through human task that th that the thing we can do through analyst tool only overall overall this is a this is a uh, this is about a analyst tool it is a not much complicated just go through go through yourself and explore more about this analyst because there is a there is a no, nothing to explore more these are the things this is the this is about a complete idq 